Hi folks, Robin here. This weekend we're up in Ullapool. My friend Ian owns a bunkhouse uh, called Forest Way. He asked if I'd be interested in making him a video, just sort of showcasing the local area and of course his bunkhouse as well. Look at this, this is stunning. Gorgeous. That's us beginning to head down now, but we're at the top of the gorge. I'm just looking down and it's almost like sheer drop. It's, it's pretty impressive. Wow, that is stunning. That's something else. The bridge behind me just there is kind of the, the end of the walk. It's um, cross at your own risk, it is crossable but the, the planks are loose and wobbly, so um, it's recommended you don't. So if you do, completely your own risk. But we're now going to head back the way and um, go back to the, the bunkhouse for some lunch. This is Forest Bay Bunkhouse and we'll do the Grand Tour. So this is so this here is your kitchen stroke um, diner area. Obviously you've got all the mod cons, you've got your cooker, microwave, your fridge, and Ian's put out a box for each bed, so you've got plenty of storage for your food. And this is the first bedroom. Both bedrooms, by the way, sleep four in two bunk beds. So you can see they're very clean, very modern. And each room has also got its ensuite shower room and toilet. I've used this for a hill walking meets and it's a really good base. And just the kitchen area again. Then through here you've got the other bedroom which is very much the same, you've got the two bunks, sleeping four and your own sweet bathroom. For obviously the hill walkers, Ian has equipped it with a drying room so you can get all your gear dry on the wet days because as you know it does rain a lot in Scotland. And that is it, that is the tour. It's a really good bunkhouse. Like I said, I've stayed here a few times and I've always enjoyed it. It's always a great base. We're on our way to Stack Polly. We're going to go up there and hopefully Ian will guide him after a little scramble at the top. Should be fun. So this is us heading up Stack Polly. Nice shady bit to begin with because it's really hot. We're making good progress. The path comes up and then it skirts around the east side of Stack Polly and round the back. We've got our first glimpses of Kilmore, Sylvan's just there, Canisp, and then you've got Kilbeek. Then you've got Shona Vray in the distance and the Benjera group.
Right, so we're, we're at the call between the two tops. Now we're heading up to the true summit. I've only once had to turn back there with someone. Oh. These rock formations are quite oh. something. Particularly that one in the middle. Nice. Bad boy. So that's the true top over there. Nicola's waiting behind. She didn't fancy there was a wee bit of exposure over there. So Ian's going to take me. On this little bit here, it doesn't look too bad actually. That's it. That's it. That's the crux of it. It's just right. getting up initially because once you're up here, there's lots of good holes. Okay. Right, so plenty of holes here. I just need to get to pull myself up. Right. What do you reckon from here? You made that look easy. Yeah, well, basically I, I reached it into there. Yeah, oh. see to the left and you can go a little bit more eye in. Can you reach there? Aye. Uh, no, no, I wouldn't put that foot there. I would keep on that ledge down there if you had here. the eye. That's much better. That's it. That's it. Well done. Right. Um, oh, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> I'll let you. There you are. Boom. Well done, Robin. You, Graham. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Still got to get down though. So there's two routes to the top. This is the second route. I'm a wee bit nervous about the down climb. Move my phone out that back pocket. <laughs> it's going to get scraped. So Ian here is just going to give me a little demo. You basically just sit down here. And slide yourself off. And then there's actually a couple of heel sort of uh, things to stand on there. And then, you know, there's good holds there for your hand. Another placement for your foot there. And then it's just that last bit. Thing. Okay, right oh, here I've goes. Got, I've got plenty of air and variation coming on there. Okay. Right, so this is the first bit. Right, this is recording yet. Right, so, right. plenty holds this side. A nice foot grip there. You got another one just down there. Why? And like I say, you've got the hand placements up there. Enough. Nice and easy. Slowly does it. Oh, it's much better. I wouldn't fancy the, the down yeah. climb now. Twenty-six now, so we're we're heading back to the bunkhouse. Going to stop in Liverpool en route and pick up some chips, Fish. fishing chips. So we um, picked a safe fish route down here. Used to be pick a gully and meet our way down if you're doing the true summit, but now we're back on the path. It's a circuit, so we're going back around the other side. Loitering outside the chippy like more teenagers, waiting on the fish to come out. <laughs> well, those fish and chips went down really well. Mm, lovely. So we're just chilling out for the rest of the night. Uh, we drive back home tomorrow. Got new arrivals in the bunkhouse as well. Midges are out. 
what we'll do is we'll bring you back tomorrow morning when we visit Corrie Shalik Gorge. Good morning folks. We left Ian's bunkhouse about literally 20 minutes ago. We're just heading to the Corrie Shalik Gorge and have a look at the suspension bridge. That's a 60 metre drop down there. So when you cross the bridge, there's another little pathway that takes you to the viewing platform. So we're just going to have a look at that now. Well, that's all I've got time for. We're going to enjoy the scenic drive home back to Edinburgh. We're going to do some of the NC500 route down through Gaelock. What I'll do is I'll put a link to the Forest Way Bunkhouse website and of course the Scottish uh, Independent Hostels as well. If you've got any questions, please just drop them in the comments box below. And I'll see you in the next one, thanks.